breathtaking Batanes exploring the natural beauty of Narn Batan. Batanes, known as the home of the winds because of its calm and windy weather, has preserved its postcard perfect scenery, friendly culture, and a simple way of living due to its distance from the mainland Luzon and the rest of the country. Its refreshingly chill vibe is unique from the other famous islands destinations in the country, such as Boracay and Palawan. Batanes has a wealth of unspoiled beauty just waiting to be experienced and imprinted in your memory. Kapyan Kapano Diosicha, Yaki si Efrini Jimenez, Yaki Nyo Representante Yu Batanes. The first attractions in Batanes are Rocco A. Payaman. If we describe Rocco A. Payaman in one word, it's be magical. There are rolling hills and knolls everywhere surrounded by a carpet greenest grass you'll never see. The Basco Lighthouse. Basco Lighthouse provides an obstructed 360-degree view of Mount Iria, Basco Town proper, and the West Philippine Sea. And lastly, the Mount Carmel Chapel. The Mount Carmel Chapel, popularly known as Twinkin Church, it was built by local artisans heavily inspired by the Ibatan stone houses. The culture of Ibadan is partly influenced by the environmental condition of Batanes and they have adapted their famous stone houses made of coral and limestone design. Ibadan people wear costume called Kanae for men, which is made of abata for sun and rain protection. What's and where to eat Batanes food? When in the islands, you will notice the most of Batanes food or dishes are served in a big green leaf. This becomes even more evident if you come to visit during a fiesta event. Those leaves are called bono or breadfruit leaves. Traditionally meals are served in this leaf for easy wrapping. As for your results, we customarily use our hands. It may seem difficult at first, but as a local, this is like the best and most homey way to eat Batanes food. For years, the Ivarans or the local Turk residing on the islands of Batanes have long held on their costume of building the traditional Bahai and Taitaya. But with the advent of modern infrastructure development, availability of durable, cost-effective construction materials, and national laws prohibiting the use of certain natural resources, it is now slowly being forgotten.